Update. We has been 32 male and me 26 female have been told by his brother, 37 male and sister-in-law, 30s female, that we should supply all Christmas gifts for the kids due to our lack of kids. Original post. My husband has a very large family. In total, I think his father has eight brothers slash sisters. They all got married and had two to six children each. Now all their children are grown up and starting families as well. We are looking at easily, I believe, 15 children and the family is off right now. We all get together for Christmas every year at his grandparents' house. Sounds great, right? Right. Normally after Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving, which they also all get together for, we pick names for the children's gift swap. There is also a man and women gift swap which my husband and I who do not have children join in on. Now, to give you an idea of how the gifting has been the last 10 years, husband and I would buy gifts for his parents, his brother and wife and their four kids. Great. Awesome. Works fine. Last year they said they would rather we just bought gifts for the kids. So we did. Same thing we'd always gotten them books at the reading level, PJs and puzzles of some kind. They were upset, but we couldn't place why. We also didn't get any gifts at all which we didn't comment on. But my husband admitted he was a bit hurt to get nothing from his parents versus his brother and sister-in-law getting gifts. I am not a super social person, so I spent most of Thanksgiving reading a book and watching one of the youngest cousins sleep. Eventually, we all gathered up so the kids could draw names of their cousins for the gift swap. They finished that up. And then husband's brother, who will just call Timmy, says, And uncle, my husband, will buy all the kids a gift too. Cue my husband and I giving him looks of the heck and screw you. We laughed and said, oh no, haha, <laughs> we'll just be bringing the candy again this year. His brother then started in that we should buy all of the children gifts since we have none. And that it wasn't very Christian of us not bless the children with our good fortune. My husband at this point pulled him aside into the kitchen and told him he wasn't buying all of the cousin's gifts. And if he wanted to, he was welcome too. They started to argue and Timmy yelled that we should not come for Christmas anymore. I handed over the baby. We left, said we'd email them about it later when they calmed down enough to talk like adults. I would just like someone else's viewpoint. My husband is really upset that his parents are agreeing with Timmy that we should be giving more gifts since we have no one to buy them but for kids now. He threw the fact that we get no gifts from anyone at them and they said we were adults now and Christmas is for kids. He pointed out they gifted Tim and his wife thanks to him, but they said that we'd already bought it, might as well. But I have been shopping with his mother, and she bought gifts for Timmy's wife Candy again this year already. I'm frustrated, and feel like no one is handling any of this well. I don't want to step in and help my husband, but I want someone else to look at this mess. Before I do anything other than listen and offer suggestions of using I feel blank when you blank to his parents. Edit. Replied to some comments. Showed husband thread. Send email. Haven't been answering phone calls from them. Ask them to please just read and reply via email so that we have time to think and respond calmly. Got a lot of nasty voicemails for it. Going to let them simmer some more and keep ignoring their calls since they keep yelling. Now for the top advice before reading the first update. Holy crap. What a bunch of selfish and manipulative people. That's the most ridiculous suggestion I've ever heard. Now, I don't know if you're child-free, not at that stage in your life yet, or have been trying but have it conceived, but it doesn't freaking matter. Just because you don't have kids, doesn't mean you have to buy presents for everyone else's kids. That's insane. I don't even know how anyone would justify that honestly. If it comes up again, ask them to explain why they think that's an appropriate thing to ask, and state that while you are glad to have all your nieces and nephews, you don't think it's reasonable for you to be expected to buy them all gifts. Ask if they are going to get you a present from every one of your nieces slash nephews. If they bring up that you're not being very Christian BS, remind them that true Christianity is not about material goods. It's about love, not cheap crap from Walmart. His brother and sister-in-law are butthurt that Opie and Hubs have disposable income and probably have nicer things and less stressful life. Taking care of six people at a max only for two working is still hard unless they make real good money. They sell kazoos in bulk in Amazon for under six bucks. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Don't forget to encourage the kids to play them as often as possible to develop their musical skills. After all, music helps kid with math or whatever. So, you're supposed to buy gifts for 15 kids since you don't have any? And you get kicked out of Christmas if you don't. 
sounds like it's time to start a new tradition that doesn't involve insane relatives. Maybe a cruise. Cruises are nice. This is the craziest part to me. Just no semblance of logic. I have two kids, so I buy presents for my two kids. You have no kids? You have to buy presents for 15 kids. How the heck do you arrive at that conclusion? Now for the first update. Thanks for everyone who came and tossed in their two cents. It was wonderful to hear from other people without having to worry if they would repeat my chatter to the other party involved. So, I'm not 100% sure where I should start. I am about three drinks in, just to calm myself. Farwana did show my husband a post after we talked. I brought up T-Day 2015. It asked him if he wanted some more input that I normally give on his family drama. He said yes. I pointed out the favoritism of his brother over him in almost anything. I made a list showing times when it had happened where they and he were fully the wrong just to prove the point. We went over the texts from his brother, sister-in-law, mother, father, aunt, and cousin. Just to recap names. Brother to me, sister-in-law Candy, mother Rhonda, father Keith, aunt Kira, cousin Ben, husband Todd. This is shorter than husband. I'm lazy. So the day I posted after we went over the text which started after we missed their call, and went up until we sent the email, all just spiteful garbage about how we waste our money, time and life volunteering and don't spend enough time with our children, slash cousins, slash cousins' children, slash family anymore. It started out telling Todd he was being a candy butt b-word who was whipped by his cold harpy child Hayden wife, and just degraded from there. Todd only sent back a few saying he'd email him about it and asking him to not talk about me. So we sent the email here is basically what we sent. I semi-edited it. Todd sends it as if it was just from him. We almost added in his parents but decided we'd just forward it to them if it really got out of hand. No problem. Timmy did it for him. Tim, I'm sending you an email so we can talk about what happened on Thanksgiving. I think this would be better for us both since when we are heated we say things rashly. You didn't give me much time to really think about it so here it goes. I don't understand why you volunteered us to buy gifts. We are happy to buy gifts for your children as we have every year. Is there something going on? Is someone having financial problems? Well, we would gladly help anyone who asks, as we have before. You should recall Kathy and Kiki two years ago. We helped too. Being set up in front of young children was rude. Not to mention you telling us we aren't allowed at Christmas now. The texts and angry voicemails were also uncalled for. Please take some time and get back to me. I hope we can work this out as our family is very important to us. Todd. Yes, well, that went over about as well as water on a grease fire. For one, Timmy forwarded the email to Rhonda and Keith, Kira and Ben. That was rude, but we were going to do the same way either way. Ben sent us an email letting us know what Timmy did and said he was sorry he wasn't there to jump in, but would try and talk to Timmy. Timmy and Ben are actually really close, so it was nice to see he thought Timmy was being unreasonable as well, since they are normally very close slash like-minded. I'm not going to put his email here. I'm just going to highlight what he said then tell you what Keith and Rhonda said in their email slash visit. I'm a cold, child-hating harpy and I sleep around. I'm an atheist, or a Muslim, or something he never really picked. I'm dragging Todd from the church and his family. We don't spend any time at all with the family anymore. We never spend any time with our nibblings. We are wasting our life slash time slash money volunteering with animals. Helping slash wanting to help refugees was an American. And this is my fault since I'm a first generation American and don't understand what it means to be one slash deserve to live here. I'm rude and never talk to them unless it's about animal rescue slash animal rights. Yeah, so, hmm. At this point, we're kind of laughing and kind of crying and kind of shocked. We spent the rest of the day cleaning up our house and talking about what we wanted to do slash reply back. We hadn't checked our email and would stuck our phones on vibrate and were just trying to enjoy our day off together. They are pretty rare, sadly. So surprise, his parents drove all the way out to talk to us. I say talk, but it was more like being talked at. They asked me to leave so they could talk to Todd about his action slash rude email. Todd said no, said I was his family and his wife and we were handling this together. They then tried to convince us we had said the F word in front of the family. We didn't that we had mentioned buying gifts for everyone before, that we didn't love Jesus anymore since we hadn't been going to church, and some of what Timmy has sent in the email too. When his father started to insult me and then in turn my father, 
Todd was done. He stood up and said, Thank you for coming to visit us in our home for the first time, but we have errands to run and you need to leave now. They refused. He told them they had to go now or he'd have to call the police. They left. He cried. I cried. Our cats knocked over their cups. We ended up calling my dad and told him everything, as well as showing him both emails. He told us they have before talked trash about me slash us to him. We shouldn't be able to fix your child still, we're still working in hours, was something he told us had been said. We decided we aren't going to their Christmas either way. I told Todd I can't go back there again, nor can I look at any of them the same again. I knew they'd always not like me as much as some of the other daughter-in-laws, but I didn't know it was to that extent. They have always been nice and polite to my face, invited and included me in all events. No one had ever said anything to Todd either. As it stands, I'm waiting for my dad and brother to get into town, and then we're going to sit down and decide what we would like to do. Todd said he just wants it to be small, and doesn't mind where Christmas happens and said he felt closer to my dad and brother anyway. We told Ben what happened and shipped his gift to him. I haven't decided yet what I will do with the nibblings' gifts, but I already donated all of the adult gifts. Edit. I'd also like to add I'm not of another ethnicity. My father is German and moved to the US when he was 20 to marry my mother. So I'm a pasty white chick, but I guess since my dad isn't American, that's bad. Now for more comments before the final update. This is really awful. But what stood out to me was how united the two of you are in this. That sucks for Todd. That he now has a full realization of how terrible his family is. That's hard for him. And I know he's going to be dealing with a lot of emotions from this. But the two of you took this hit together. And that's awesome. So a bit of silver lining maybe? We weren't always this way. When we went through my family drama, with my mother, sisters, and her family and some of my dads, it was hell. We were not united. He was semi-friends with my mother and she sob storied him into believing a lot of lies I had come to question about my childhood. So we then fought like cats and dogs until finally he listened, and I spoke what I was thinking and feeling. It could have ended then. I would have my dad and brother and nothing else, but we worked it out. We communicated, forgave each other, made a game plan for handling my mother's manipulative BS, and went to war. In the end, I would do anything for Todd. I'd even put up with going and being around his family again next year once the wounds healed a bit. I know it will be a lot harder for him to give up on them than it would be for me too. I suggested we both revisit the therapist I was seeing before when we dealt with my family. I think it will help him identify some other issues. Thanks for reading and a chain of comments slash compliments. We both appreciate it. Our cats knocked over their cups. Your cats are pretty badass. Seriously though, I'm sorry. But it sounds like you and your husband have been handling this like a united front. And that's awesome. He demanded a love. The other cat cleaned up the water. It worked out. 10 over 10 would adopt 4 cats again. I'm proud of your husband for standing up for you. Go him. His family sucks. They really are terrible, greedy people. You were better off without them. It always sucks when a partner is wrapped into the manipulation of their family. Nice to see them sticking together for a change. This is kind of like our second rodeo, only we didn't see it coming at all. Now for the final update. I wish this update was, we all made up and Christmas will be so great. But it's not. Yesterday we had a small Christmas party with some friends since we will be leaving the 24th for a holiday. Myself, Todd, Dad, and brother who I'll name Theo. My friend Sandy grew up near me. We've been friends for years and she became friends with Timmy and his wife too. They're friends together on Facebook. We had told her that there was a tiff but didn't elaborate to not damage their friendship. Big mistake. Since she tagged us in her ooh look at my gift slash QQ my friend is leaving for my Christmas post. The photos of the two of us drinking while dancing around her new Roomba I will note this isn't just for her Christmas, it's for her Christmas, birthday and her wedding, as well as a housewarming gift. Her and her soon-to-be husband Bill just bought a new townhouse near us. I normally wouldn't buy something that expensive just for Christmas. So, Timmy saw the post. Not only did it take offense to us drinking, none of them drink slash are against drinking. He really flipped his lid about her getting a Roomba. He lost his crap in the comments and then showed up at our apartment. I was in the shower when Timmy showed up. I heard someone knocking on the door which had to be pretty loud to hear it all the way into the master's bedroom shower. I finished the shower around a midway through Todd and Tim fighting. Todd said he was beating the door down. 
He opened a door and refused to let Tim in any further than the hallway. Tim was yelling at him about the gift, about his lack of church going, about his going out of town, demanding his kids gifts. I donated them, and asking where we got off buying such a pricey gift for someone who isn't related, and being selfish a-holes about gifting the other children. So around this point to come out of the shower after putting on PJs, it's nearly 1am now. I came out to see Timmy, I'm kinda shocked. Todd tells Tim it's late and we can't talk about this when we get back from holiday with a pastor. He pushes Todd. Todd falls back into the wall putting a dent into it. This woke my dad and Theo. I moved in front of Todd since Tim was pulling back to hit him. He hit me knocking me down on top of Todd. Dad and Theo restrained him. Our next door neighbor was woken up and called 911. Cops showed up, separated all of us. We told them what had happened, didn't tell them about the other problems shorted it up to there had been a Christmas disagreement. They also called an ambulance since Todd cut his arm on a dish that broke, and my face was quickly turning purple. The EMS showed up, no Todd, and was very upset about him and I being hurt. The cops asked us if we wanted to press charges. I started to say no, but Todd said yes. So Tim was arrested, and we went to the ER since Todd needed some stitches. Our phones have been blowing up ever since. I turned mine off after I told Sandy she needed to not let Tim and Candy see any posts about us, since they're pissed at us. She said okay. I went through and unfriended slash grouped anyone who was also friends with any in-law slash family into a restricted group so they can't see anything we're up to again. I hope. Rhonda and Keith have been blowing up Todd's phone. He's only answered them in text with what happened, that we would not drop charges or pay his bail and to stop contacting us at all. Between the last update and this one, we had talked to some of the other family members and they all said they disagreed with Timmy. His grandparents said they did too, but that they couldn't host the Christmas and couldn't stop him from uninviting us. They said they would talk to him and we were like, okay, cool, maybe by next year we can be friends again. That isn't the case anymore, at all. There is no coming back from this. We'll be filing a restraining order when we get home. Todd is talking about us moving out of our home state. Dad and Theo think this is a good idea. Dad is annoyed that I wouldn't let him hit Tim, so is sulking a bit. But I think it's more that he's upset that we have lost another family, basically. So, yeah. I get to enjoy my trip with a black eye slash cheek. Todd has a four-inch gash on his arm. Dad is sulking and Theo is happy since he's smoking pot. So, A plus Christmas.